Hello, hello, beautiful heroes! Welcome to Julie Epic Error Fizz! Anybody lurking? Anybody just coming in? Uh, Julie, thank you for the resub. Happy 53 months! Welcome back to the superheroes. Um, I counted uh, using all my fingers. It's like some days. It's like it's a few days. It's like almost a, almost a month, maybe. <laughs> uh, but for real, thank you for 53 months. That is ridiculous. Um, Air, thank you for the resub. Happy 36 months. It is resub time. It is. Oh my god, it's June. Oh fuck. It's already June. Christ. <laughs> Charles, welcome. Hello, hello. Hold on. Let me just make a note because it is. It's June. Oh fuck, it's June. I need to get my passport renewed, you guys, and it expires in like a little bit. I gotta get that shit done. Lodgekins, welcome! Hello, hello! Yeah, passport, passport. I've had this passport literally since I was like in high school. So, at least a decade, and it's expiring. Um, and I'm just gonna get it renewed because apparently. It is a lot easier to renew your passport before it expires than it is to get a new one after yours has already expired. The scary part is I have to like mail this in. I just have to mail it into the ether, which is terrifying when you know USPS um, and how, what a wonderful job they do in everything they do. Um, I'm gonna have to get it like tracking on its tracking. <laughs> Tracking on its track, tracking. Mirror's a flight risk, no bail. Absolutely a flight risk. I am an expired person. No, I love having a password. It's really easy because whenever they're like, you need to prove that you're a human in this country, uh, you can either bring these 16 documents or a passport. It's it's always got to be the passport. It's so much easier. Uh, Okie dokie. Let's cut the sick jams and get to the sad jams. There we go. The sad, sad seagull sounds. Perfection. So I was doing a little bit of um, Googling, Googling up here, uh, like Dane Cook would write angry letters, um, trying to figure out where the fuck idiot Doom Spiral went, because I was right in my assumption uh, that he should be the one. That's it. You got it. Oh, no, it's doing it again. Oh, no, you guys. It's time to close some tabs. Apparently, my computer needs help. Um, We will... Let's see, we can close that. We can close that. We can close that. Hmm. You know what? I will put this on a... That sort of situation. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, good. Good, good. Yes. Mmm. Should probably close um, some of my 6,000 spreadsheets, hmm? Maybe? Maybe not. Maybe I like my spreadsheets. <laughs> we'll never know. I shouldn't have closed that one. Shit. Don't log me out. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're good. That one I will also close. There, maybe it feels better now. Uh, so, <clears throat> closing aside. Uh, <laughs> we need any doom spiral, and I don't know where he is. Uh, that reminds me, I need to renew my global entry. It technically is expired, but they extended it 18 months during COVID. Nice, Charles, do it. Please do it before you're, like, kicked out of a country. I have two tabs open, and I'm judging you all. Julie, please. Julie, I need my 60 tabs. Uh, honestly, just for stream, I have eight tabs open right now. I'm trying to find idiot doom spiral. I don't know where he went. I don't, I don't know where he is. I don't know how to find him. Send help. Oh, geez. Help is here. Thank you. <laughs> help is here. Fox brought tea. It's all better now. Everything's okay. Everything's fine. Bless Boggs. You guys have been getting to have my nightly peppermint uh, tea with me lately. I feel like such an old person, but I literally love having peppermint tea at bedtime now. It just helps my tummy feel better. Uh, I did not... I did not get my gun back, no. We still could, question mark. I don't know how this shit works. 
Uh, let's figure out what visual calculus wants quick. What, what do I got? The whole shebang. Oh my god, I have the coat and the hat. The coat, the hat. Yes, guys, the I'm Dick Mullen. so crooked, a yegman couldn't break it. I know, right? The deaths of Charlie Spillane and Deanna Deneuve. The case Dick Mullen was on. Oh That's what this crooked swindle must be. Oh my god, do you think we're gonna get to find out? Oh my god, please tell me we get to know the ending. I think if I remember right, when we looked it up, it said like there was n literally no way. Uh... <laughs> Boggs is just now discovering the absolute tornado I left in the kitchen. <laughs> um, uh, I really hope we get to know the end of this. The end of this book. Turns out you were five minutes before the end credits. Yeah, 58 tabs. M epic. Look at you doing better? Question mark. I don't remember how many you had last time. Also, I don't remember if I said hi to you. Hi, how's it going? Welcome. Uh, you should still be able to. I don't see why not. Okay. All right, we'll get our gun back then. We'll put that on the to-do list. All right, I'll write it down right now. Oh, yeah, guys, guess what? I just, I'm just gonna write gun because that'll help later. Guess what I fixed? Guess what I did? Uh, I know exactly how I fucked up too, which is embarrassing. Look at it happen. Look at it do it. Also, Julie, I demand another Dorf Romantic stream because I've played it uh, like, let's see, let's see how many hours I've put into it. How many hours? I've, I've played it for 10 hours now and I still cannot get to your score. I don't know what the fuck witchcraft you pulled on your first fucking game to like break all the high score charts. I'll stream it Friday night. Good. Teach me the ways. I don't understand. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. But ten hours, and I still haven't figured it out. Oh, you've gotten higher score since then. Oh my god. I'm embarrassed for myself. Um. Okay. Ending to Dick Mullen. Ending to Dick Mullen. Focus. Wow. I'm off. Ugh, I'm all over the place. It's gonna be one of those days. We gather here today to mourn the loss of API. Don't worry, it'll be back. Oh, yeah. And the reason uh, that I had fucked it up is I did generate a new token error, but what I forget to, forgot to do was hit connect. You have to generate it, and then you have to hit connect, and I didn't do that, so. Nailed it. <laughs> Tripped at the finish line. Okay. It's a form of security pre-check, uh, but had reciprocal agreements with some foreign airports that allows me to go through Citizens Line instead of the foreign visitor. Oh, that's kind of nice. Annoying thing about renewing it is I have to go in person interview. Oh, with the border control office. Gross. Gross, gross, gross. Absolutely not. <laughs> so sorry, Charles. Okay, um... That's right, we thought that it was like the rich dude's son that did the murder. Okay, so the killer was Highbinder's twat of a son. Mm hmm. Don't think like a cop. Cops don't solve cases. They slide nippers on the goons and take them into big houses. But they don't solve anything. Who does the that? The dicks, gum hills, hawkshaws, peepers, sluice. Men like Mullen. And Men you. like Mullen. I'm a dick, so Bullseye, I'm a dick. A snooper, and a damn good one. I think I always felt like a private investigator. I don't feel like a private investigator. Private investigators are just disrupting police work and endangering. No, fuck that. I've always felt like a PI. Mmm, yes. If there's any doubt, consult your trusty Dick Mullen book and reconnect with the real you, him, Dick Mullen. Yes. You, him. Use. Use. Modus Mullen. That's me, Mullen. Guys, oh my god. We did it so well, we tricked my brain into thinking that I'm legit Mullen. Oh, they're back now. What the fuck? Oh, was it just like really late at night last time? Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I swear to god, we came over here and everyone was gone. Am I crazy? Am I crazy? Oh boy, I might have dreamt it. Did I dream it? 
questioning I'm questioning my sanity a little bit I've only made it to around 14k woman was cheating 14k are you still talking about dwarf romantic my highest score in dwarf romantic is 29500 I'm sorry excuse me hold up wait a minute my high score is like 8000 29,000 what mode were you playing do I not understand how to play this game did I did I skip reading a tutorial yes probably what I remember you being here and they were not here okay all right thank god thank god thank you Charles <laughs> thank you for solidifying FBI, oh my god <laughs> Aaron, thank you for the pities was that were you supposed to do that to Julie? Arrest Julie, not me. Arrest Julie. Also, that scared the shit out of me. Oh, oh, oh! Sorry, sorry, sorry. Thirty-three thousand. Stupid. <laughs> Can you hear the jealousy in my voice, Julie? Can you hear it seeping out? Thirty-three thousand. Maybe I'm mistaken. I almost want to just quit quit this game so that I can open up the other game. Actually, Dwarf Romantic might not take that much. I wonder if I could just, let's just see if I can open it up while Disco Elysium is playing. Disco Elysium's already struggling, so this is probably a bad move. Also the fact that it is now going to update Dwarf Romantic for some reason. Cool, 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 cool. Rub it in more, huh? You guys, yes. You, you're over there using like Giga Brain. I don't even, I can't even, oh my God. Let's get some signatures. What's it about? Uh. I'll let my hand address the situation. Maybe you've heard. I used to be a very successful businessman. Oh, we've I've heard about more you. than a few lease forms or whatever the fuck they were. Anyone's got a pen? The pro's gonna do it. Yeah, I have this uh, green ape pen. All right. Uh, he grabs the pen and paper and carefully scribbles on the dotted line next to Lillian's signature, Idiot Doom Spiral. I need at least two signatures on the document. Hey, abs. He shouts to the non-responsive drunk, still dribbling drool out of the side hey, of his abs. mouth. Abs. The man mumbles incoherently. Don't call poor. Don't call Abigail. Just let him sleep. The poor guy. Okay, it's updated. It's updated. Let's see if this computer can, by some act of Jesus run two games at the same time. Oh, we need to make sure, though, that we're not going to get double sound, because that'd be bizarre. Ooh, it's looking like a like a bad time. Oh, man, we're about to crash this entire computer. I do not recommend. Oh! Oh, no, we're good. We're good. Oh, I'm an idiot. Okay, my high score is 10,000. So... Julie's high score is triple my high score. That's on classic mode. Are you looking at classic mode for your high score? Or are you looking at like endless mode? No, even endless mode. <laughs> even when I cheated and set everything to like hella easy, I only made it to 9,000. Although I think I just got bored and quit out of that game. So, okay, classic mode. So yeah, my high score is 10,400. Right, let's close that before we rip a hole in the universe. Hey! Goddamn Abigail is here. Wake up! Oh. Wake up! I don't think he can help. He's completely I'll be out of damned. it. Uh, well, uh... That's what we have Rosemary for. Wow. You can help, right? <laughs> Poor Rosemary came in second to a man that's passed out. Nice. Sure, I can fucking help. You need a signature. I got you a signature. Thanks, Rosemary. Nice. Uh, can I have my pen back? Fucking cops, man. Always hassling the poor folk. Thank you. You know what? I'm keeping a pen and that's the end of it. No! Give me my pen back! My monkey pen! What's-her-face gave that to me? Man. My pen. To be fair, my sister has a board game that's a lot life dwarf romantic uh, that we used to play a lot, so I've had some training. Ah, I see. You've had prior experience. Screw Disco, this is now a dwarf romantic stream. You guys don't want to watch me play that game. 
Um, it's a lot of squinting and a lot of cussing. <laughs> You're a, you you are a goddess among peasants. <laughs> do do not make efforts to make them feel better. Yeah, just be a generous god. Um You've done a great service. Hey Thank you. guys. We're heroes. You are your About heroes. fucking time, man. I've done my duty. The incapacitated drunk lay there snoring like an ancient rusting tractor. Oh, don't call out. Thank you for your services, gentlemen. Should we go and mail this? I think I saw a mailbox on the plaza. Yeah. On the plaza? What plaza? I'm so peeved I lost my pen. Are you shitting me? Uh, handed to you by Everclear. Insider some legal documents which have been in a very shaky handwriting signed by some members of the union of morbid alcoholics. Good, 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 good. At least you finished Celeste Miro. We all have different talents. Man, I still get some PTSD when I look at that game. Like, it's pretty, it's cute. Shouldn't have done it in one sitting. I have never regretted anything more in my life. Um, I'm guessing they didn't mean this plaza. Where the fuck is there a mailbox? Policeman Cloak, you, you doing okay? That's weird. Big same. We're all scarred by it. Uh, oh, no, this isn't a mailbox. This is a trash bin, right? The dented oh, no, this is a mailbox. I thought this was a trash can. And bullet holes in the front. This entire time I thought this was a trash can. Um, I knew we'd use yes, this mailbox for something. For sending mail. You drop the white envelope in the darkness. Cool. It lands with a soft thud on what sounds like a couple of letters. About a week's worth of mail as collected in there. They'll empty this very soon. Probably did the right thing. You can't trust that slug Everard. You know he's going to play you somehow. Absolutely. All right, let's go back to Everard. If we don't mention anything to him, he won't know before it's too late. Hehehe, <laughs> cheat in. I'm not. I'm. Is that scared or scarred? I can never differentiate between those two. Scared and broken? Scarred. Scarred and. Yeah, scarred. It's scarred. Scarred and broken, but not from Celeste. That is, that is sad news, Eric. Uh, hopefully, hopefully this community can heal you with the power of cults and rats. <laughs> I was in the gifted program in school. Uh, we got out of gym once a week and did nerd shit. It was probably a mistake. They built you up too strong, Julie. I was in the gifted classes too. Um, and they were still... <laughs> Honest to God, they were still boring. Um, they still did not do enough intellectually. Uh, I remember one time we built a, like a, a humdinger machine, which was this machine that we were supposed to like engineer together and it was supposed to hum and ding at the same time. Like it's a motor and a little bell. Uh, and I came back like two years later and the teacher was like, yours is the only one that still works. Like all the other ones had like shut down or broken somehow and mine still hummed and dinged. And I was like, fuck yeah, it does. I'm the most gifted of the gifted children. Not to brag or anything, but my humdinger was bomb. I also won some sort of award in elementary school. I think it must have been fifth grade where, uh, or not some sort of award. I don't know. I don't know what it was. I wish I could remember better, but I was allowed to go to a writer's conference thing. Like my writing was so above my peers that they put they allowed me to go to this thing in a college. They they let a fifth grader wander around a college on her own to go to this like writer's thing. Uh, it was all like a bunch of kids my age just wandering around this campus. I think we're all maybe all confined to a single building. It's really hazy. I just remember being scared because the building was big and I was lost as fuck. <laughs> we started our GT classes at age seven. First year was architecture, a bit weird looking back on it, but more interesting than timetables. Man, that sounds fucking fantastic. Also, welcome, Commodore Tom. How are you? Hello, hello. I don't think I said hi to you. 
We had special extra classes where we just did a bunch of weird shit. We made a terrible short film, did Mythbusters, built robots. It was a weird class. That sounds fantastic. That sounds like a uh, good stimulation for children, actually. Mr. Dubois, every worker. Uh, a member of the board? That's right, Mr. Dubois. I see the socialist democratic fervor now burns in your heart, too. How can I help you today? Um, I mailed your signatures. The golden boy returns once more. Wonderful. Simply wonderful, Harry. Of course. I already knew this. My friend, the mailman, confirms the letter is on its way. You've done a great thing today. You've given the children of Martinez a future and proven to be a true man of the left. I, I can finally we're... trust you now. I don't know if I did a good thing. You're in my inner circle. You too, Mr. Kitsuragi. We can talk about anything. The strike, the murder, your lost gun, Love to nothing know about my is off gun. the table. It was the best time of the week for sure. There were like six of us in class and two of my best friends were in it. Man, this sounds like so much oh, fun. Oh, Bratan, you play the old man like a three-string banjo. He has no idea. Just uh, Dick Mullen and his horrifying necktie at your service. Uh, can I get my gun now? Harry, I've got to be honest with you. Your gun was found two days ago. Withholding this information weighed heavily on me, but it had to be done. Fine, where is An it? An old woman has it, and let me tell you, Harry, word on the street is she's a character, so watch out. The old woman washing clothes? The old lady that gave me my cabin has my this gun? This must be the woman who bought the gun from Roy. The one he described as terrifying. Or, oh, no, wait, different old lady. Wait, wait, there's also the old lady that's, like, off her fucking rocker by the lorries. Is it that old lady? Uh, gun still with the woman who bought it from yes, Roy. Yes, the same one. I see you've done your research. The you pawn shop made yet. the gun oh, easy to okay. track. Crazy stuff, Harry. Selling your gun like that? Wild. Anyway. Pretty sure I was really done being a cop, so. You know boy's gonna help you fix it. He winks at you. Don't worry, Harry. It's the dice lady? <laughs> it's the dice lady. Duh, it was always the dice lady. That goddamn dice lady. I the knew it. The neighbors of this old woman I fucking knew my it. <laughs> because they trust me and the Debardeurs <laughs> Union. Apparently, she was waving it around at the it's entrance not, to her building. Or is it? Maybe? Waving it around at the entrance to her building. It's the dice lady. It's the dice lady. Hey, was this old woman contacted my... Oh, is it the old lady with the broom in the apartment complex? Man, there's a lot more old ladies in this game than I had uh, initially theorized. There's like a few old ladies. Waving the gun around doesn't sound good. None of this does. Who is this old Unfortunately, lady? Unfortunately, I don't know anymore. You're gonna have to go in blind, Harry. But she's an old lady. How dangerous can she possibly be? Oh, and she calls herself the pigs. She thinks she's the pigs? God damn it, it's Kuno E's again. <laughs> no. I'm surprised you guys remember anything from your elementary schools at all. All I can remember is uh, consist con what, what could be considered borderline trauma. Oh no, Epic. What's it like over there? If you haven't met her, you'd know if you had. Oh Lord. There it is again. The pigs, like Roy said, not good at all. I, for one, find it refreshing. Finally, someone calls themselves a pig. But <laughs> Kim. <laughs> it actually sounds extremely bad, but let's not give him the satisfaction. Sweet boy. Uh, she's waving around. As I people? said, she's a character. I didn't have time for details. It sounds like she's unstable, but don't worry. No one got hurt. There was absolutely still a lot of trauma. I remember specifically, I think this this traumatic memory was fourth grade. I had gone to a summer camp where it was like a tinker summer camp. I don't remember. It was like little kid inventors uh, because I really like to take apart electronics. Like I just love to rip shit apart. Wow, this is not surprising looking at my life now. I still love to just rip shit apart. Anyway, <laughs> I love to rip apart electronics. So my mom poked me in a summer camp that was like for tinker kids, right? And I built this little robot. I built this little tiny robot. He didn't work or anything. He was basically just hot glue and some metal parts. 
but I built a little robot. His name was Minibot. He was the cutest thing to ever exist on the planet. I loved him to death. I was so proud of my creation, right? Like I worked really hard on him all summer. I uh, had him in my desk one day and he just went missing. I, to this day, I don't know. People theorize like maybe the janitor threw it out. Maybe somebody stole him. Uh, I fucking put up like lost wanted posters for this little robot. I was so distraught. I wanted my little robot back so badly and I never got it back. So yes, there was still trauma. <laughs> that's that's kind of like stupid trauma though, but it was traumatic. Moment of silence. Pour one out for Minibot guys. Oh, sad. It was so sad. To be fair, I kept him in a cardboard box that, box that probably did look like garbage. So uh, poor little Minibot. That camp was a lot of fun though. Minibot, I know that guy saw him last Thursday. What? God, wouldn't that be a trip if he somehow just reappeared in my life now as an adult? I think I would shit a brick if I suddenly found him somehow. If he made his way back to me. It sounds like a very disturbed and desperate individual. That's probably the most traumatic thing I can think about happening in elementary school. Oh. I do have a semi-traumatic memory. One of the... I don't even think she was a teacher. See, what's weird about these memories is they're so fucking hazy at this point because you were like a little kid, right? Like you, I don't know. Uh, there was a teacher and or adult, some sort of adult figure in our school that never spoke. She never said a word. And people talked about the fact that it was because she'd lost her tongue. Like she didn't have a tongue. And I have a traumatic memory of remembering her like scaring kids because she opened her mouth and she did not have a tongue. So there's that. <laughs> I think she was just like a glorified like babysitter because she didn't teach us anything. She just like kept us doing our homework or something. <laughs> yeah, right, Eric? But you know, this could completely be a f another fever dream on my part. I think she was real. I want to say she was real. I'm going to have to go back. Maybe if I look through like my my fifth grade yearbook, I could potentially find her and look her up. But I swear to God, she had no tongue. Unstable is good, actually. She will be easier to disarm. No, wait. Actually, unstable is pretty bad. I already have. Tonight, starting 10 o'clock, near the old fish market on the coast, the one on the boardwalk, a little past the fishing village, be careful, Harry. I would never set you up for anything dangerous, <laughs> but you did ask for this. Now, <laughs> back to the fun stuff. If she wasn't real heir, we might have bigger traumas to consider. Like there, there, there would be something much larger at work if that was a false memory, right? <laughs> That's my psyche trying to cover something. Uh, what's your guys' most traumatic <laughs> elementary school story? She will be there from 2200 hours till 0200 hours. Now I really want to know. I really want to go look at my yearbook. More fun stuff. Seems like we already have fun stuff to do. Uh, did you order the hangman order killed? It. You know my men didn't kill him. They mm. told you. It was a happy accident. You know how happy it is. Happy accident. No one takes the mm -hmm. initiative. If I wanted him dead, I would have had to do it myself. And I'm too fat for that. Should I ask it? This is the rudest question I've ever seen in my life. Should we just straight up be like, why are you so fat, Everett? What went wrong? What What do you think his answer will be? You're gonna blame it on genetics or just say that he eats too much? Maybe he's repressing his own tra trauma. It's Everett, why not? Good point, all right, fair. Memories are very malleable. It's very easy to manufacture false memories. That's true. That's why I'm, I'm trying to like solidify who that lady was, but I can't for the life of me remember. And I bet she probably still had her tongue and it was just like a, like a rumor that went around the kids or whatever. She probably still had her tongue and it was just like what we told each other. He said nothing was off the table. All right, fair. Glad you asked. I've got type oh, 2 diabetes I know he's because sick. sugar and fat was all my mother had to give me and my brother Edgar when we were kids. All right. Fair enough. Straight answer. Appreciate Good it. Good job too, as it made me ugly 
and ugly people, Harry, are much better at is that, politics. Is that a fact? That is true. People don't trust pretty people. Hmm. Is that true? Uh, what do you gain from being dead? Why a war, of course. Gain from him being dead. Oh, okay. A word, you're the fattest thing I've ever seen, and I've been on s my, my word. Oh, wait, wait, this, 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 this needs like a English stuffy Britishman, right? My word, you're the fattest thing I've ever seen, and I've been on safari. I think I really sold it. My first day of first grade, uh, my first day of school in Florida, my first day that the school was even open, I stepped on the playground and immediately got jumped by an army of fire ants. Oh no. I didn't even step on the hill. I wasn't the only person on the playground, but I was the only person attacked. Aw, oh, Julie, that really sucks. That would make me never want to go back to school as a little kid. Be like, I, no, that place is a place of horrors. Thank you, mother. I will be staying home from now on. <laughs> Welcome to Florida. Oh, no. One of the few things that I remember from elementary school is that I had to compete in math Olympics for elementary schools. Apparently I was a massive nerd. Oh, that's incredible. I've never been that good at arithmetic to be able to compete in anything math wise. I can do like math on paper all day long. Like that extra hard, extra credit problem, I got you. In my head, not happening. Gotta love South Florida. Florida, and why? what do you have to gain from a war? Victory, Mr. Kitsuragi. I have victory to gain. We are going to start a war with the Wild Pines group and win before they even realize there is a war. They've trained military people. Aren't you afraid for your men? Harry, we outnumber them 1,500 to one. And that's just Martin Ames. With all the unions in Revachol, and with public opinion on our side, we can hold off two men, or 15 men, or even 50 men. Wow, okay, bold. The more they send, the worse it's going to look for them. They made a huge mistake hiring those guys. No one likes foreign mercenaries. The leftists hate them, the fascists hate them, even the moralists think they're in bad taste. Harry, there is no strike, only war, class war. Or, in business terms, a dawn raid. Or wait, is that when you still pay them something? Because we won't do that. Just walk past the fishing village until you see the boardwalk. That's where I'm going to get it back? Okay. We're not going to give nothing. We're going to take Terminal B away from them. The roads, the gates, the containers, that big crane, even the damn coffee maker. We're gonna take all of it for the people and fuck wild pines. Okay, I feel a bit better. I feel a bit better, you guys. We have 10 days in Disco Elysium, not seven like I initially thought. We have 10. Hmm. 10? Hmm. <laughs> Okay, most people tend to finish around seven or eight. Ten. Ten days. Oh no. Similar story. Really old wooden playground set, the type that practically launches splinters in a slight breeze. I stepped on a fallen wasp nest. It was still occupied. Oh no. That sucks. At least you didn't get jumped by an army of first graders. An army for first graders? I thought there was no day limit though. 10 playable days. 10 playable days I'm hearing. One of the reasons I was afraid of insects as a kid was getting stung by a wasp, I feel you. I have a confession, I've never been stung by anything. Like, I probably haven't bit by a fire ant, but I've never been stung by a wasp or a bee, knock on wood. Uh, I could be deathly allergic and just not know. I I could just drop dead at some point. I don't remember if it was second or third grade, but my pants split along uh, the split 
along the literally my belt in the back to the reinforced seam at the bottom of my fly during recess in front of everyone. No, that's terrible too. You just made me remember that I ripped my pants multiple times, three times in middle school and twice in high school at some point. I just got used to it. Oh no. I ripped my pants once, a single time, and I learned my lesson. I carry a jacket with me at all times now, just in case something bad happens. You wrap it around the waist, you're good to go. It's come in handy multiple times since then, not for ripped pants, but like other things. And then one time Boggs ripped his pants in a Barnes and Noble. Did you guys see the Spongebob rip my pants song? Speaking of Spongebob, I watched that Spongebob anime episode and I cannot tell you how much joy it brought me. It was so anime and so Spongebob at the same time. It was incredible. The word fuck rings like a gunshot from his mouth. But it was he doesn't swear often. Literally incredible. It was amazing. I loved it. Do you, do you know if they're going to make more? Does anybody know? So that's know? why you haven't met Joyce in? Yes. It's also why I let that midget Gormont go. He's too nice. I can't put him through this. Plus, he knows how to get in here. That woman can't tell her tits from her asshole. She has no chance. Fucking Yakuza ass voice acting. Yeah, right? Uh, SpongeBob is a little bit brutal. The intro got me 100% in. Absolutely. Samurai being the cheeked up samurai. Yeah. Um, I really loved a comment that I saw under that video that said that if copyright if it gets copyright claimed that means it's canon if they go after it and they copyright claim it that means it's it's officially canon um what tits from her asshole it's a local okay. saying because we're friends harry besides it doesn't matter now you can go tell her if you want it won't change the course of events we have a significant head start it's already happening I don't know if I want to talk to this guy great, anymore. Harry. This <laughs> has been so great. I'm sorry we don't have more fun things to do together. But if you ever feel I like don't, bouncing, I just, I don't, I don't like Everett. I don't want to discuss more with him. I don't want to tip him off to things we know. I just wanted to know where my gun was. I just, I don't, <laughs> I don't want to. So we won't. Now, Leo, on the other hand, Leo's my best friend. Um, scab leader. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, we weren't supposed to kick that nest, though. Leo! I never wanted to talk to him. Yeah, accurate. Absolutely. I also hate coming all the way fucking out here. He's in the most inconvenient place possible. I wonder if I can do anything with Light Bending Man yet. I don't remember if we upped conceptualization or not. Let's give it a go while we're here. Welcome back, gentlemen. No, we did not. What can I do for you? Are we talking about injuries? Because around grade four, we were on a school trip to a frozen over lake for ice skating. Oh, that sounds like a fantastically super dangerous idea for kids. Uh, at one point, I was sliding on my knees. Uh, I didn't see that there was a bottle half, ooh, half frozen in the ice. I slid right over it, ramming a glass shard a few centimeters into my knee. It was right past the tendon. I pulled it out and asked for a plaster from the teacher. I ended up walking home. Wow, badass is that? <laughs> oh, that hurt. That hurt my knee. If we're talking physical injuries, I had to get stitches right above my eye as a child because I was chasing another kid and reached across the table to smack him. I think this wasn't even, this wasn't even school. This was like daycare. This must have been preschool. But I reached across the table to smack him and hit my head on the table instead and just like started profusely pouring blood as like head wounds do. I, they just, I don't know, they go hard. It didn't really hurt that much and it uh, wasn't really that bad. But the teacher, when she turned around, like, literally about died, I think, because it was just in blood everywhere. Uh, and then I got three stitches, and I told my mom it was fun. It was a fun day. <laughs> so, that's the kind of kid I was. Um. Okay, so we're supposed to look for Ruby, which we did. 
We need to get my gun back, but that's not going to be until tonight. We will not be doing that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. Oh, this is the necktie. Okay, we'll do that eventually. Uh, actually, I I got a spoiler for Doom Spiral's jacket. Let's take care of this real quick. Now bleeding injury memories being unlocked. <laughs> Tries to lock them back up. You cannot suppress them. Let the trauma flow. This is apparently therapy day for everyone. You're welcome. Um, I can give his jacket back because he won't take it back. He just, he won't do it, so. We could try, I have the dick mullen coat now, so my Tequila life is more complete than it ever could be. Shit. My jacket? Yeah, you know, the one you had me clean the seagull shit off of? A look of consternation crosses the man's face. He looks at you, then at his bottle, then back at you. Oh my god, yes. Not as bad as that, but one time I went to do a thing on a swing set where you get as high as possible and then latch yourself off the swing. But I forgot to let go of the chain, so I just ended up dangling below the swing, dragging back through the mulch. I had biked there and had to bike home with splinters in my back bleeding through my shirt. Oh no, Julie. I'm so sorry, but the image, the mental image of this happening to a child is fucking hilarious. If I saw that happen in real life, I would, I would lose it. It does sound very painful, though. I know mulch splinters well, so... <laughs> it was hilarious. <laughs> Luckily, it wasn't me, but playing flag football, a guy was going to pass, and while looking back while running, ran full speed into an 8-inch diameter metal pole holding a basketball hoop and bounced off the pole and rang like a bell. Ooh, that sounds like it hurt. Ooh, I bet he had a headache after that one. Uh, my school was next to a bakery and a big wheat field where they dumped some of the old baking trays was fooling around got hit right in the head with uh, right on my head hit with one right on my head uh like in a bad cartoon <laughs> i bled like a pig and the doctor who stitched me up said if the angle had been slightly off my eye would have been gone holy shit you faced god epic what the fuck are you talking about tequila the fuck are you Rosemary, talking about what the fuck is tequila talking about oi that's the jacket you stole two weeks ago from the kid who was making it with his gal on the beach. That's disgusting. I've never done anything like that in my life. You're both delusional. <sighs> Found. That's medium concept stuff. It becomes abundantly clear to you how this man managed to lose his keys, <laughs> business, friends. It's and all coming together. It's all I'm coming together. It. It's neurological. All right, you're lost. I'm keeping the jacket. That shit is so medium concept, I wouldn't touch it with a stick. But yeah, okay. I'm sure it looks great on you. It does. It's an okay jacket, if you are into that look. It's a great jacket, even. Oh yeah, have you seen a red-haired woman? I can't really remember seeing any women after losing my kids. Oh my god, idiot Doom It's Spiral. a touchy topic. He hasn't got laid in ages. Okay. okay. Let's step aside for a second. I have something I want to talk about. Oh? What do you want to chat about, Kim? I've been meaning to have a little chat with you about your sense of style. What? My sense of style? Kim, no! I look great! I look... Don't do this to me, Kim! I look fantastic! I'm Dick it's, Mullen! Well, a little eclectic. Okay. No! How would you even describe what you're wearing? Err! Hey, thank you for the biddies! Here's to all the injury and trauma we've all survived! Hooray! We've done it! We kept our eyeballs. We learned some lessons. We got bit by bugs. <laughs> Hooray. Okay, all right, how oh, how would you guys describe my dick mullen style right now? Formal apologetic. <laughs> wow, that's a mood. Hobo chic. Superstar casual. Click your tongue. Mm. Regular core. Or office harbinger. They're just clothes, Kim, who cares? No, I care. I wanna say either hobo chic or superstar casual. I'm leaning towards superstar casual because we're literally dick mullen. All right, I worked hard for this fit. We're dick mullen. I think it has to be superstar. Superstar casual for sure. I mean, it even comes with a tongue click, like, don't you dare, Kim. I like the sound of hobo chic, but yeah, superstar. Well, should we, we could do a poll. Should we do a poll? 
Superstar casual is a current feel. Okay, all right, all right. That's three months. That's all I need. Superstar casual well, it is. I can't say it doesn't fit you. Still, you might try branching out a little. You know the expression, the clothes make the man. The right outfit in the right situation can make all the difference in the world. You look great. Um, uh, I'm not taking style tips from someone who dresses like a mega beano clard. Gross, nerd boy. <laughs> uh, okay, you're a sharp dress man. We could be style buddies. I'm not taking style tips from someone who dresses like a washed up tip top racer. How rude. No, Kim is absolutely a sharp dress man. Hasn't Kim seen you change clothes for every situation, right? Like... Kim, I have fantastic fashion. We all know about the expression, Kim, don't you worry. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, detective. A warm smile. I want to be fashion buddies. Anyway, we should probably get back to the case. Let's go. Can't believe he's dissing my dick mullen fit. Kim, I look incredible. As a Kim, I'd get, uh, modify my bike with parts... I would find or trade for. I was riding through a new parking lot and did a wheelie on a speed bump. Oh boy. And the front wheel went flying and the front forks embedded into the soft asphalt, causing me to go flying over the handlebars. Ooh, Superman landing on my chest. Ooh, man, it's a good thing kids are bouncy. Like they're real resilient. Cause my God, if we did that now, we'd die. We'd literally, we'd break a hip and we'd die. At least I would. I guess I don't know about you guys. You could be like uh, mega ripped. Charles was doing X games before they existed. Um, all right, now what? We tried to return his jacket. We got some more points. We're about five points away from a new skill point, which we could put. Oh, we can't put it. This is why we're stuck. We can't put it in conceptualization. Oh, no. Do we have any of these open? We do have one open. Do any of these do conceptualization? Let's open up the cheaty thought cabinet. Cabinet. I don't know how to spell. Oh no, another one. The school playground was still an old Soviet era playground with zero safety standards. Um, Once I fell from a climbing frame and broke my wrist. Since I live close to the school, I was allowed to go home instead of the school having to call an ambulance. After I got home, I ended up biking to the doctor with a broken wrist. Just after I got in a lighter cast because uh, the fracture was almost healed, I stumbled over the fence and broke it again. Oh no! Oh my god. That's absolutely tragic. What an ending. Um, let's see. Advanced race theory gives us plus one to conceptualization. Um, hmm. Oh, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. That's not great. Uh, what color are those? Oops. What are these? Intellect? Let's try it. Let's see if we do intellect. No? Hmm. We might be fucked on the money front. You can somehow get $100 to get the shoes and play the board game. It'll make my week. I'm going to try my damnedest. I don't know if we can with this build though because I can't there's literally no thought cabinet thing that can boost this intellect shouldn't be true conceptualization All pink checks are unlocked. All white checks are unlocked. Hmm. 
Learning cap for rhetoric gets raised to five with that one. And plus one to conceptualization. Is it around the time we had swimming class at school? I never got to pre- Aww, my preteen swimming license! Boo! Uh, I knew someone who broke one arm doing something dumb and then less than two weeks later broke the other one doing something else dumb. <laughs> Aww, both his arms and Cass. I had to get a teacher to assist him for writing everything for like six weeks! Man, I bet that kid had a hell of a time just like trying to exist. That blows. I knew somebody in high school who managed to break his elbow, like in wrestling somehow, which I don't really understand how you can like break an elbow, but. Okay. Uh, look for the word blue. Maybe. Give you plus two intelligence. All intelligence skills. Okay, I think we actually have this thought. Even. Maybe? Yeah, this one. This one will actually give us uh, all blue caps raised by one. So like that's something. Let's internalize that. I think that's probably the best we can do. Yeah, it's a red check, so the blue checks won't help. That won't mean anything. Okay, I think that's the best we can do which sucks, and it probably still won't even be enough. Uh, in the meantime, why don't I call, uh, go buy a board game? Oh, you know what? Actually, what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do in your to head, interact, you hold four modus, smolen, oh my god. And the mistaken identity. Do you think we can do it? Do you think we get the answer? Modus, mullen. Aw. What just happened? Medicinal purposes of the pal. The cover of this heavy tome features a number of esoteric symbols. It didn't do anything but give me an achievement. Flipping through the book, you find a number of sections on the general... Oh wait, general. this is Have the wrong book. I'm more? an idiot. The book... That's the wrong book. This book. In your hand, you Why doesn't this do anything, though? In your hand, anything? you hold forfeit. Why? There's truly no point. You'll never know who did it because those pages have literally been scattered to the wind. In your hand, you hold f Just quits out. Boo. I'll go play a board game instead. Rip. Rip my answers. He's bleeding out. Can he swim though? He doesn't have a license. There's nothing we can do. <laughs> End of the road, Mullen. That's your stop. Oh my god, now we have Mullen thoughts! <gasps> Looks like everybody wants a piece of Mullen. Oh my god, everything's in black and white, too! It did do something! <gasps> oh my god! Mullen didn't need this shit. The shit came looking for him. <laughs> Where's another one? Snitches aren't born. Sn snitches. Snitches aren't born, they're made. This is the best thing that's ever happened to me. Hard questions, the only ones worth asking. Is it gonna be black and white forever now? I don't know. Maybe if I click the thing again, it'll toggle it. Time to ask the questions no one once asked. Oh. Nope, it's done. We're back in color. Boo, that was so much fun. It was like raining even. Oh, incredible. That was so cool. 10 out of 10. What am I here for? A board game. Ah, uh, yes. All right, which board game am I getting? Air? You're the, you're the board game king, so. I got the Dick Mullen fit, so the found fit means like a little bit less to me now. I 
feel like you said it was one of these. A small mountain of colorful board game boxes. Yeah. There are numerous types of games Which for one? all ages. A lot of shelf space seems to be taken up by we're our related merchandise. This game is amazing. You broke it, Julie. You, you asked if, if it was going to be black and white and you scared it away. Hold on, let me check. All right. All right. How long do we need to think about that thing, by the way? Three hours. OK, that's not bad. By like noon, we should be good. Should we hear about our Wonderful options? Wonderful board games, sir. The Viticulturist is a classic for sure. Brow Britain. Never mind. Who are you Never going mind. to play board games with? Do you have friends or family? Are you actually friends or just colleagues thrown together by circumstance? Then you're a lucky for playing with friends. I'd recommend the S one. This one. Suzerainity. It's a civilization building game where you build a civilization, then set off to brutally colonize and repress other civilizations. Oh, It'll cost 12 it's like real. Civ 6, essentially. All right. Wonderful choice, sir. A wholesome family game. Wholesome family game, you know, conquering countries. Wholesome family. For the kids. To be fair, Monopoly probably starts more fights than this board game will, so. All right, Cam, you want to play with me? Watch him say no. A civilization building board game where you get to choose a nation and set off to colonize and exploit other cultures. A star-shaped note on the box proclaims this game is now includes, oh my god, gen a completely new genocide option. Hooray! In your hands, you hold a brand new copy of the game, Suzerainty. It's snugly wrapped in a skin of plastic. I grew up playing too much Riz. Uh, I grew up playing a game that not a lot of people know about, but I love it to death, and we got highly competitive during the holidays called Set. If please, if anybody else has played Set, please, please speak up. And I'll challenge you to a duel. <laughs> Kidding. The cover features a charming illustration so good at depicting set. a mass of grinning laborers loading goods onto a ship. While a richly dressed I have, but it's been years. It's work. a surprisingly difficult game sometimes. I love set so much. Uh, let's shake the box. The box has a nice heft to it. Let's get all you those pieces the really jumbled up. Individual wooden tokens and feel their weight shifting back and forth. What treasures wait in store for you? Even before you open it, you can tell that this will be a meaty game of grand meaty strategy. Game. And complex player interactions oh my god this reminds me of the thing that i dumped in the discord not too long ago in case you guys don't know there is a disco time discord channel where i just dump anything disco elysium that pops up on my twitter feed for the most part there was a really funny one though uh let's see if i can find it yes i'm gonna i'm gonna bump it to the bottom so you guys can see it this is about to be us <laughs> It says, Lieutenant Kitsuragi not understanding how he's losing to me. It's like they're like playing a board game. And then it says me, who's been eating the pieces while he's not looking. Because <laughs> Harry absolutely would do that. You have to convince Kim to play it in a mental exercise to help with the investigation. Oh, man. Let's hope I have enough intellect to pull this off. Maybe I'll just eat the pieces and call it a day. The plastic wrap rips off as easily as a bodice in a tawdry historical romance. Wow, okay. There's a hiss as the lid slides off. Inside, you find a thick, full-color rulebook and more than a dozen pouches of various wooden components. Okay, let's bust it out right here on the pavement, Kim. Ah, savor that new board oh, we liked it. smell. A mix of wood, paper, and ink, all wrapped in the sweet must of cardboard. Um, let's read the rule book Welcome first. to Suzerainty, a game of economic strategy for the whole family. The rule book is sumptuously illustrated and thick as a Guardian novel. Sumptuously. What a good word. Finally, a proper game to teach children about the importance of trade and global economy. And let's keep reading. The instructions are opaque at first and introduce many concepts you're not familiar with. Fortunately, there are many diagrams and mm. examples throughout. Good, good, you good. soon figure out the basic conceit. Each player represents an administrator for the suzerain of Revachon. <laughs> Your objective is to increase the suzerain's wealth and renown by accumulating victory points. 
I'm having PTSD for all the convoluted board games my sister makes me play. Dude, no kidding. Boggs loves board games. Uh, and I'm, I'm really bad at grasping instructions when someone else is trying to teach me something. Uh, so does it always ends in fights. <laughs> Anyone want to play Arkham Horror? Uh, the card game is actually hella fantastic, and I love that game a lot. Grasped that one. Pretty okay. We also have the Stardew Valley board game that we haven't tried yet, and, like, I think that could be really good. Uh, how do you accumulate victory points? That's where the Suzerain's vessels come in. Okay. The game features four vessel nations, each one home to an economically important resource. I literally have to be the one who reads the instructions out loud or I'll have no clue how to play. Yeah, yes. I There have been a couple of people in my life who have been able to like, like if they know the board game already and they're really good at teaching things, then it's like no problem. Uh, but I've also had people that are like, we'll just learn as we play and then they don't explain anything and then it's a shit show. I think it really depends on <laughs> who you're playing with. But if both Bugs and I are like brand new to the game, right? It's usually just arguments. Uh, I meant the full-blown five-hour board game, but sure. I've never played the board game version. All we have is the card game version. Uh, most people say that one's superior. So. Julie's sister, this one is called Ludo. Julie, no, please, God, no, let me out. <laughs> uh, that one game, Julie, the, was it Everdell? Does that sound right? The one with the cute little animal critters, but like magic d and I want to play that one. We, we don't own that one yet, but Each I want to play that one. The player collects resources from vessels where they've placed workers. They may then rearrange their workers, fulfill contracts for coin and bonuses, or build structures back in Revachon. Really? I've never played the card game. I really enjoy the normal one. I got to check it out. We got to swap. We got we to gotta do As both. You leaf through the pages, your eye <laughs> catches on a sidebar labeled advice for beginners oh yeah let's read the Remember, advice there are many paths to victory in suzerainty but successful players will find one strategy and commit to it wholeheartedly okay all boring, right boring boring tear up this rule book and commit some old school atrocities half-life calm down jesus is there isn't there any way to invade or commit atrocities suzerainty is a family game the only atrocities so just, you'll so be genocide. committing are against the social standing of your rival administrators as you bring in ever more resources and power for the suzerain. Speaking of... It said genocide, though. Oh, God. Everdell is fantastic. Okay, so it is Everdell, then. I want to play that one. You end up redacting the game with Kim and not getting the thing... I'll post a link to a YouTube video of the amazingness. Oh no, if I end up like fucking the this up, Kim wins. The actual scoring system appears infinitely complex, with a series of tables and appendices required to compute oh, each Lord. player's final victory point total. You skip that part for now. Kim, you wanna play? The lieutenant looks over the rule book ah. before he sees something that makes his eyes go wide. Holy shit, the average playing time for this game is one to six hours. That sounds fine. The only thing we have to do today is catch somebody at 2200, so... I'm not sure we can afford to set aside that kind of time for a game. Okay, all right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I might have some suggestion clothes. Hold on, we're gonna get this boy. We're gonna get this boy invested in this game. Look at us. Yeah. Oh. When did I get that jacket? Suggestion. That's minus one to suggestion. Okay. Suggestion. We really don't have a lot. We don't have a lot. God damn it. It's just the two. Fuck. Encyclopedia. Anything taken away from suggestion? No. Oh boy. I've never I've never been so nervous about a role in my life, you guys. This could be bad. Did I miss anything? Okay. Alright, okay. 
Oh wait, we still need another backpack. Idiot. Board game. The suzerainty box is heavy and slightly awkward in your hands. Okay. You give it a light shake and feel the pieces shift around inside. Yes, Julie, I did see that. It's super cool. I wonder if there'll be expansions for that at some point. I got to stare at all the art from the game for the past few days and it makes me quite happy. It's such a cute art style. I think you'd fit it really well, actually. Uh, all right. All right, everybody close your eyes and hope for the best. What is detective <gasps> okay. work if not an elaborate game? We did it. You need logical inference, attention to detail, the ability to analyze your opponent's motives. Yes, 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 yes. There's so many expansions for Everdale. Oh no, that sounds expensive. You mean to print something? What are you up to? <laughs> Box is stealing all my paper. He's in my office burgling my paper. Burgling He's burgling my turrets. Every time Julie mentions Everdell though, hashtag sponsored. I didn't close my eyes, I'm so sorry. It's okay, Epic. It's okay, we passed. It's because you kept your eyes open. All right. It might help us think of creative solutions mm. to this case. I do feel like my thinking has become somewhat mm -hmm. rigid. Mm -hmm. Yes. Maybe a little diversion to keep the mind limber is just what's in order. Yes. See, he's doing the hard work himself. All he needed was a little nudge. Uh, all right. You've convinced me. How do we play? All right. I read the rules already. I'll show you. You explain the basic setup procedures to the lieutenant, mm -hmm. who seems to be a quick study. Yes. You each take your bag of tokens and counters and unfold the board between you. <laughs> Just in the middle of this courtyard. Good. In the center is the crown of Revachon. We're still out of the woods yet. Oh no! A colorful vessel. Aaron, I didn't dress each for the woods. Each one some raw material desired by the suzerain. Apricots from Safre, archaeological treasures from Ilmarat. Sugars from the Seminine Islands and magenta cocaine from Supra Muindi. Magenta cocaine, Mozart. you say? Drugs? There's also a neat little log to keep On track of turf? your progress in case you need to put the game away and return to it later. Okay, 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 okay. The lieutenant goes first. <laughs> he draws Julie. the contract card and moves several of his words <laughs> to the Safra. God damn it. I hate that I read it to the tune of that song. To the Seminine Islands. All right. All right, Detective. Your turn. You have a few options available to you. Will you try to fulfill contracts right away or rearrange your workers to maximize production on future turns? Oh, man. Remember what the rule book said. You will want to choose a strategy early on and stay committed to it. Yeah, but what strategy? Just do whatever Kim did. Let your workers rest for a while and try to fulfill a contract. Um, I don't know. I don't know how to do good at political things. Guys, I can't explain to you how sad my cat looks right now. I can't explain, but I can, I can post a picture in Discord. Hold on. Look at this sad little guy. First of all, he's too big for his box. Second of all, his box is like falling apart. He loves this box so much. I've taped it together many, many a time. But he just keeps busting out. Just look at, look at how sad he looks. I heard that song playing out in the wild a few days ago. Oh my god, I had to stop myself from laughing so I wouldn't look crazy. You should have just cackled. You should have just let it rip. He fits, so he zits. He tries. He just looks so sad. He feels it so much. What's worse is like, he has comfy beds. Like, I, he's not sleeping in trash because I don't give him beds, right? Like. This was his choice out of all the comfy places to sleep. It was that. It was that trash box because it's his favorite trash box. <laughs> and it's so sad. OK, I don't know what to do here. I think I'll fulfill the contract. You draw a contract card 
offering a number of coins in exchange for archaeological treasures. All right, treasures. You place all your workers on the Ilmarat territory. On your next turn, you produce six units of archaeological treasure and fulfill the contract for a handful of coins. Nice. Not bad, detective. But not good enough, the lieutenant seems to be saying. Oh no, is he gonna kick my ass? As he completes his own contract card, the lieutenant is rewarded with four coins and a round wooden token that he places in the center of the board. That's a market. It's worth two victory points. Glower silently. Why don't I get one of those? Don't worry. It was mostly just luck. You'll earn some points soon enough. What is that patronizing tone? You're one of the Suzerain's like trusted administrators. You may need to put the lieutenant in his place. The lieutenant returns your baleful look with a satisfied grin. Oh, no. Glancing over the board, you see several possible strategies. Pressing more workers into service would increase your economic output and help you to survive a possible conflict with the lieutenant. Or you could ignore your labor supply and focus on fulfilling contracts for points and resources. Contracts. What do you do? Contracts. Kim, what do I do? I'm bored with this. Let's finish later. No, I'm, I'm contracts. Who cares about workers or territories? Contracts. When the real Stick. action is in Stick Rivershaw. To it. You spend your turns fulfilling contracts Commit. for sweet coins and one-time bonuses. After several turns, you have a neat pile of cardboard coins and several units of archaeological treasure, which you trade in to build a museum. Mm, okay. You place a cylindrical piece of wood on the river shore section in the middle of the board. It's meant to stand Guys, in for a beautifully adorned edifice we filled built with ancient wonders. An entire museum. Well played, detective. That museum is worth three victory points. Fuck yeah, it is. Now it's the lieutenant's turn to respond. He moves aggressively onto the Safri territory. Soon, his workers are producing a steady supply of extremely valuable apricots. Oh no. How can you let the lieutenant dominate you like that? Half-Life, Jesus. You need to hit back and hard. Just treasures. For several turns, you struggle to respond to the lieutenant's burgeoning apricot empire. Not Eventually, the apricots. you relocate the majority of your workers to Supramawindi and Saramaritza, where they begin producing a bumper crop of cocaine tokens. Oh. You draw a new contract card. According to the text, there's an aristocrat willing to trade a large supply of cocaine for a number of coins and access to a rare bonus. Amplified music worth seven victory points. Oh yeah, baby. Cocaine, cocaine and rock music go together like cocaine and rock music. Very astute electrochemistry. Someone say cocaine? You've reached a critical Drugs? strategic juncture. How do you respond to the lieutenant's aggression? Rock and roll, baby. Go for the contract. Give back to the workers. Ask the lieutenant. Attack the lieutenant. Steal all his resources. Contracts. Always the contracts. I really feel bad about the workers, though. But I also feel like we shouldn't be rewarding them with cocaine. It takes several turns, but you slowly begin accumulating the cocaine necessary to complete the contract. When you do, it practically rains cardboard coins on your side. Feels good, doesn't it? But you know what would feel even better. You're going to say drugs, aren't you? Drugs, specifically uppers. You should find some the first chance you get. Okay. While you daydream about speed, <laughs> the lieutenant has built himself a formidable economic engine of his own. Oh no. The end game is upon you. Oh no. How will you spend the vast resources you've acquired for the glory of the suzerain? Flipping through the manual, you find the most expensive structure in the game, the River Sholian Victory Column, worth 12 victory points. If you can successfully build it, victory would be all but assured. Alternatively, you could try launching a trade war to crush the lieutenant's economy, or you could blow all that money on a public education system for your worker tokens. The choice is yours. Victory column! Using the substantial coins and resources you've accumulated from diligently fulfilling contracts and constructing trade routes, 
You spend your final Having a line or 14. constructing the ultimate structure in the game. That's our drug. The That's the cool kid drug. Victory column. That's the cool kid drug for sure. With a triumphant Sports flourish, you remove a That's rectangular not it. That's not how you do it. from one of the satchels and place it next to your museum cylinder in the center of the board. Behold my vast accomplishments. They're nice tokens, yes. Very impressive. Why do I have a bad now, feeling? Now, let's tally up the scores, shall we? Computing the final scores is almost a game unto itself. Oh, no. You each spend an inordinate amount feeling. of time making stacks of coins, consulting tables, and struggling with basic addition and I multiplication. I don't play again. After double, then triple checking your maths, you have your final score. Also, I want to point out this only took two hours. 35 victory points. The suzerain will be extremely pleased. Nice. I've got 26 <gasps> points. We did it! He says slightly disappointed. Oh. Looks like you won convincingly. Well played, detective. Now did it. let's clean up and get back to work. We did it! You hold the open game box before you. Good stuff. Was I supposed to lose? Oh, I was supposed to lose. Will he play again? Nobody told me that! Now he won't play again. Oh no. Oh no. Jara, welcome! Hello, hello! This is the first time in my life I've ever won a board game and it, it wasn't what I was supposed to do. Hold on, I have an idea. I have an idea. I have an idea. If we can get like a... Yeah. Is this the only autosave I have? Yeah, because it just auto-saved. <clears throat> Could also just watch it here. No. Is this before or after the Everett conversation, you think? Before? Mr. Dubois, I now. What can Everett Claire do for you today? After. Okay, this was after the conversation, so we're good to leave. We can just leave. Let me just... Yeah, 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 yep. Cool. See, we just need to go get the board... We didn't... Did we do anything else? We got the board game... Did we give Idiot Doom Spiral his jacket back? Or attempt to? Ah, that's fine. We can fix that, too. Okay, so we won the game. Now we're gonna lose the game. It'll be fine. I stamped the children, and they are good for inspection for another year. Man, how much mileage do you get on a child? Don't answer that question. I regret that phrasing the second it left my mouth. I was I was equating them to cars, because you get car inspections. You get house inspections too, I guess. But you also don't want to live in a child. That's not it either. <laughs> I'm glad you're free, Jora. Welcome back to the uh, world of the non-teachers. Resist quoting that. Don't do it. Oh my god, I can't type. No, that's how you spell it. That's how you spell it now. That's canon. Oh my god, I didn't do the Dick Mullen thing either. I guess we have to do that again. <laughs> Bummer, I have to have a black and white world In again. Oh my god, it's so good! Oh, you know what we also probably didn't do? We gotta start this up. Guys, look at me. Uh, watch us not be able to convince him to play this time. There it is, there's my thought. Looks like everybody wants a piece of mullen. Hot mullen action. This is just the best thing I've ever seen. End of the road, mullen. That's your stuff. Can we go other places in black and white? Or will it stop it? Never change, Miro. Thanks, Jora. Glad you uh, approve. Oh, it ended it. Boo. A small mountain of colorful. Okay, we'll this one. Choice. 
Maybe I should have saved from before we played the game or bought the game just to save the money. Maybe that would have been smart. Mm, too late now. We're blowing our money. <sighs> Lost my headphones. I sat on them. Okay, let's do like a quick Saberuski here. Okay. Just in case we fail the check to get him to play. In your hands, the cover feature the box. What treasure even okay, before you can the do plastic all this, open the box, read Welcome the rule box. The you soon figure out the basic. Uh, That's like, where accumulate each victory points, the read the remember. advice. Boring, boring, boring. How is the, the winner determined? System, the Examine the components. Of we didn't ever, we never tokens. actually did this part last time, but... Zero. You hold the open game box Okay. You. Okay. Now, we need to put on our suggestion pants. Uh, actually, it was a suggestion jacket, but still... Boop. There we go. Alright, now let's save again. Just, just to be sure. I think this game, uh, might might have some problems because of all of the saves I have. Maybe. 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 Mira refuses to su save scum the rest of the game. Also, Mira saves scums so she can lose a board game. Absolutely. This feels like an important Kim interaction. I want everything Kim. Kim, you want to play? Holy sh I'm not sure we can afford to say the same kind it. of time. We can do it, Kim. Game. It's fine. What is the yeah. detective here? Hmm. See? Okay. All right. Uh, all right. You've convinced me. Here's you explain the rules. in the center. Apricots. There's also the lieutenant. All right. You have a few. Remember what okay. the rule book said. Let's. You will want to choose a strategy. Let what my workers rest. It's the rest. very beginning of the game. Your workers haven't even done any work yet. Yeah. Let them rest. There's no concept of rest in suzerainty. Workers have to work. You produce a handful of archaeological treasures. And meanwhile, the lieutenant spends two of his sugar and one of his apricot tokens to complete his contract card. He is rewarded with four coins and a round wooden token. That's okay. a market. So it's he does the same stuff. Let's go out silently. What do you do? Um. Kim, what should That's I do? That's up to you, detective. But remember, the objective of the game is to earn victory points for the suzerain. You should probably pick one strategy and stick to it. Trying to do a little of everything is usually a bad idea. What about the workers? The workers are just there to produce raw resources. You're not supposed to worry about them too much. The lieutenant assumes you're playing by the rules as written. But what's the point of playing if you can't make your own choices? I guess press more workers Using into service? Using powers of persuasion, you convince more workers to join your cause. After several turns, your worker tokens greatly outnumber the lieutenants. A vast Take army of pity on their miserable lives. is at your command. Gaze at your workers like a harsh, harsh but proud deity. Mm -hmm, yes. Mm. Too bad investing in your workers just isn't worth many points. What do you mean? Take a look at the scoring tables in the back. Uh, Lieutenant turns to one of the appendices you skipped over you see earlier. In table 8C that investing in territorial infrastructure oh, multiplies your final victory point total by one, which is to say not at all. Whereas erecting monuments in Revachol gives you a multiplier of five. You're saying I fucked up? Yes. Precisely. <laughs> okay, thanks, Cam. Now it's the lieutenant's How yes, can you So he's gonna lieutenant. do that thing. For several turns, you draw a oh yeah, baby. We're gonna We've get the cocaine. A All right, let's strategic juncture. Let's How do you respond to the lieutenant's aggression? Let's attack him. You can't do that, detective. What? What do you mean? This I is a game of economic God strategy. damn it. You can't attack. directly attack the other players. You'll have to. It's true. Had you read the rules more carefully, this would have been abundantly clear. I was going it for the cocaine, I guess. Good, I guess. Doesn't it? Drug, Drugs. wine, the end. Flipping. Alternatively, the choice is yours. Uh, build public education system. There's a reason very few players ever attempt to build a public education system for their worker tokens. No, I can do it. It's extremely expensive it's and never fun. pays off by design. Mira abusing workers like she abuses chat. Wow, rude. <laughs> Just building a cult. 
Making me want to play this again? I love the narrator's voice. Oh, You've absolutely. Do it, Jora. There's so many treasury, different things to do. And you suffer a significant penalty to your final score. Oh, no. Ouch. Stupid game is rigged. Come on, detective. You knew the rules of the game going in. Now, let's tell you. Computing the final scores okay. after double negative five victory points. You'd be lucky <laughs> if the suzerain doesn't have your whole family executed for such a I went from performance. winning with 35 to negative five. I've got 20 points. He says slightly embarrassed at the point differential. Well, there's always next time. Figuratively, I mean. There's no way we have time to play this game again. Now let's clean up and get back to work. You hold the open game box before you. Nothing happened. Error, nothing happened. Was I not supposed to lose that hard? <laughs> oh man. I'm gonna put my dig mullen back jacket back on to make me feel better. Um, okay, we need to go get the jacket back because I'm actually missing some of my level up points now. Go here quick. You can make it a close loss? I don't know. Probably? Maybe? If I hadn't been quite such an idiot? It's alright. I'll watch Air's video. Air, will you put it in Discord for me Tequila. too? My jacket? Here's your jacket. Your what the fuck are you? Rosemary. Oi! That's it becomes a pipe calling. That's my it. jacket. It's an okay jacket. Okay. And then Kim wants to have a conversation about my fit. Even though it's fantastic. It's, well, it's well, superstar I casual. You might try branching. Let's not We should be that. style oh, buddies. Anyway. Alright. Glad we had this talk. Um, okay. I forgot about the special borst. Um Hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's just two seconds. Just watch. Oh, oh, if it's short. If it's short, then I can do it now. I just, I definitely lost the link, so. Oh, it's the never fuck with Kim Kitsuragi line. Boo. Maybe I don't have enough friendship points. Hold on, I want to. I want to actually hear it happen. Never fuck with Kim Kitsuragi. Man, I'm so sad. I wondered where that line came from. Very too competitive, even when she's the losing. The scruffy-haired little boy kicks a stone while the other. Uh, even when she's losing, she's making sure it'll be an ab the absolute worst. There's only uh, black or white. Uh, there's no gray. I mean, we could try a third time. I don't think Kim will go for it, though. Um, what was I doing? Oh, yes. I want to teleport to the church. To the church, because I don't want to run on my stubbly little dick mullen legs. I just want to try something real quick. I'm so glad that we actually got to have a dance party. We haven't actually danced, though, so maybe we should take care of that. Prayer book has been left open. Mm. Oh, hey, man. It's good to see you. Oof. Goodbye, officer. Sovereign fair, huh? We need some dance party clothes. We need some party clothes. Going for the mustard yellow pants. Bar. Oh, wait. Is that minus? Yeah, it's minus. Never mind. Those are ugly pants. Now I'm just naked under my trench coat. I just want you guys to know that. I am absolutely commando under here. Well, maybe not quite commando. I don't have anything for Sovereign Fair? Nothing? My cool glasses. Oh my god, we look even more like a dope cop now. Are you kidding me? Incredible. Okay, well, we're gonna need some pants. Down pants. Down pants! Maybe? Oh, hey, man. It's good 
Close your eyes and dream of the shapes your body should form to bring this strange music into life. For now, such ferocity of motion is beyond you. But just imagine the moves you could pull to this futuristic beat. Thanks, Limbic System. Puts a grin on your face just to think about it. Aww. Even a failed attempt gets the juices flowing and repairs some of the damage done by battles lost. If you up the dose and truly dance, who knows what will happen. You know the saying, third time's desperation. Salvation. All right, I gotta put skill points. Okay, we've still got some. We just need five. Oopsie. Goodbye, office. We just need five bits. You got a hard cut. Hard cut to the mega. There they are. Don't know nice. if you've noticed this about me. I'm a little suspicious of authority. You. You really came from hardcore. the hardcore underground. Hardcore to the mega. <laughs> oh no, I think I missed that. Yes, you really came through for the hardcore underground. Hold on. Hold on. How come? Hardcore to the mega. I'm gonna replay it. Andre is I'm gonna replay it because I can. Some slightly less lame, but still quite ungainly shapes on the church floor, sweating profusely. Hardcore. Hardcore to the mega. Hardcore to the mega. Using her contact mic to listen to a tree underwater. The one with the large head is blasting the dance track on repeat, while the stained glass window behind him is rattling from the bass. Um, what are we answering here? Between you and me, I don't know if you've noticed, this, but I'm a little suspicious of authority, but you, you, uh, you really came through for the hardcore underground. Why did I come through? Uh, I'm genuinely into the hardcore lifestyle. You wouldn't understand. <laughs> Better this than the tent. Uh, kids got spunk. I admire that. No, I'm genuinely, I'm genuinely into okay. the hardcore lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What he means is, you're right. I do not understand. Do whatever you have to do to keep your nose out of the bottle. Uh, Noid. What do you think about the church? It's a miracle of carpentry. Their bodies carved into total shapes. Now it can be something more. You know, I never really thought about a building described as that. A dead body carved into shapes. You mean by dead bodies? Dead bodies are perennial plants. Yeah. Sigma functions are left its place. Fucking weird, It's dude. a good thing we came along. The spiritual collapse has been total. Spiritual I saw some piglets suckling in their dead mother. Have you heard this one, cop man? After a short while, they shuddered and went away. They had sense that she could no longer see them and that she wasn't like them anymore. What they loved in their mother weren't her body, but whatever it was that made her body live. Um, there's an achievement for making it through the conversation with Egghead? Yes. Yeah. Uh, Luckless just chimed in on my Discord. Appreciate it. Uh, yeah, we cheated on that conversation. Good as it should be. Yes. End of quote. Cheated just this as just as we should have. Carcass. The pair of anodic beats and hard bases needed to reanimate it. Uh, I don't understand anything that's coming out of this man. Luckless has been doing some gold tier shit posting lately. Pun not intended. Oh, that was such a good pun, though. For those that aren't looking at Discord currently, uh, I posted a picture of my cat. Julia said he fits. Eris said he sits. Luckless said he shits. I bet it smells. So, hence the shit posting pun. Beautiful. What exactly this are you saying? Is false core. It is collapsed. False core? An audit dance. What is this music. dude on about? Regular I just wanted ten. Music wasn't just enough. wanted a new point yeah. so I could you know dance. What this kind of stuff goes well with. Do you have to be on drugs for that though? Only a little. Cool. It's a necessity. All large human gatherings are narcotic. 
It's just the way the spinal cord. He's been telling a story one word a day for the past week in my subs only channel. Oh my god, that's incredible. <clears throat> there is a difference I'll between have to go read that. and group elation. One kills you, the other does not. The supercharged humanism that the innocentic system has been feeding us. Anybody getting anything out of this? City squares. I feel like my brain Forget is melting. It. He does not feel Hold on. The fact. Sure. Let's well, just uh, have a have a good life, Noid. I need to dance. Oh wait, no, don't. Uh, sovereign fair for the dance. Not conceptualization because we can't do it. Oh, hey man. Doesn't matter. Oh my god. Why is this so hard? I just want to dance. You close your eyes and dream of the shapes your body should form to bring this. But just imagine the moves you could put. Puts a grin on your face just to think about it. Even a failed at salvation. I can't dance. Emotional damage. I can't dance. Eric, thank you for the sound biddies. I can't dance. How am I going to have a great time if I can't dance? Okay, we actually came here for the leave a figurine for Dolores Day thing. The mother of humanism stands above you. A precious and complex wax painting on a single pane of glass. A crack runs across the length of her body. Can't Why? This. That does seem to be a problem. The mother of humanism towers above you. So I won't be getting that done. I'm starting to get like a little bit too stuck on some of these, so I don't think we'll be able to do everything probably as designed. So we we dance in your stead. Hooray. Okay, so the next time I play this game, I'm gonna pour everything I have into Sovereign Fair. It's actually one of my higher stats, so I don't know what we're missing there. Um I'm gonna pour everything into that one and visual calculus. I'm gonna go hard. I regret putting my point in can I save scum again? <laughs> when was my last save? Should I think that was right after the board game? Eh, whatever. I gave up on some things just because I ran out of level ups. Yeah, that's like the point. That's the wall I'm hitting right now. So, um, scab leader. Oh boy. Let's go get punched guys. Let's go get absolutely decked by this man. This boy right here. Went native on the chief, huh? Those ballerina antics were reckless. Should have just punched him in the throat again. Wrong. You did the right thing with Measure Head. The ballerina antics won you the fight. Let's talk about our right to work. Uh, I think you might be able to help me with these tattoos. Don't think so. Suddenly, this feels like a really, really bad idea. Uh, Inland Empire said no, so... Actually, I think we should maybe even get going now. Okay. Kim said it, not me. Dunzo. We canceled that task. We're done. Man, that could have been really bad. Um, now what? Can't do that one. Hmm. Oh. All right, back to the nightclub, actually. <laughs> yeah, that one time Inland Empire wasn't paying in the slightest. He was like, dude, uh uh. Did she open up the crate by Everett's office? I did, I did. I know all about the rich men. I have my net worth, which isn't worth fuck all, and I can't buy my found shoes, but I have my net worth. Uh, back to the church. Fast travel was the best thing ever invented in this game, just saying. Well, okay. Fast travel was the best thing invented in this game, second to Kim. All right. Party time. This chick. She's whistling a melody, her trusty contact mic attached 
to a wooden pulpit. At the sound of your footsteps, she stops what she was doing and turns to you. Hey there. I've been recording some new audio from all these beams and rafters. The sounds traveling through the wood are pretty cool. Creaks and stuff. Like you're underwater, you know? But like, underwater inside a tree. Mm -hmm. But that's not really what I wanted to talk about. I wanted to thank you instead. What for? For getting me and my friends in here. And we even found some new associates, such as they are. How's everyone doing? Good, I think. Lloyd is getting a read on the place. I think he finds the carpentry very impressive. Andre's been setting up the compressor and dancing. Egghead's been keeping the party up. He's got the stage under control. Sauna, the programmer, she's doing whatever she does behind that radio computer of hers. She doesn't talk to us much. And the crab man hasn't shown himself, thank God. I forgot about the crab man. Uh, can you tell me about your associates? Sure. You helped us out. I can repay the favor. It's a deal with Egghead. What do you mean? Uh, what does he think he's doing when he yells all that oh, stuff? That. He's the party boy. Party and what it means it doesn't really do vocals in the traditional sense. Vocals are thought of as rock. That's to say they're a bit backward. No offense if you like rock music, though. Rock music's called by me. Ah, uh, no offense taken. Anyway, even if you don't have vocals, you still need someone to say something every now and then, right? To urge things on. That's where the party boy comes in. Man, could you have gotten a game over if you let the silence thing keep doing this thing? Oh, man. We should have saved scum for that, too. I would. I wish. He basically just stands on we the stage and dances and yells how awesome everything is. It's very catchy. I understand. People are usually afraid to do things if others aren't already doing them. Dancing makes you dance, like sneezing makes you sneeze, or yawning makes you... Uh... Anyway. But... Uh, he looks around a little embarrassed of his enthusiasm from his interjection. Um... How long has he been with you guys? Actually, we don't know where he's from. Oh. Or who he is, really. Egghead just magically popped in, huh? One time we were out partying somewhere in Backwater Forburg. Or maybe even Coal City. I can't remember. Maybe it was Coal City. Egg was yelling along to some jam someone was spinning. All night long. Just kept yelling until he didn't have a shred of voice left. When the sun came up over the mines. There were mines? Yeah. It was in Coal City. Egg came with us. He made this wheezing puppy dog sound all the way back. Couldn't even I think speak. Kim did just have a hairy moment. It was definitely Coal City. Because it took us two days to walk back to the fore. He just wheezed the whole way. We never really asked why he came with us. Or who he was. I think his name is Jermaine. People are sweet. You can see it must have been a great night. The memory causes her to go silent. For a moment or two. You wish you'd been there. Who do you want to know about? Uh, no idea. He's a four-burger, I guess. Like the rest of us. Four-burger. Okay. Maybe not Egg. I don't know about him, but... Noid and the rest are from Fulberg. Oh, from... Making okay. the pilgrimage up north to visit the Palisium. He's real hardcore about the lifestyle. What do you mean, do? Like, for a living? No, I meant for breakfast. Of course I mean for a living. No, yes. He's a carpenter. A carpenter? He's very good. He just doesn't have the mindset to work like that. That's why he liked the architecture. He abides by the hardcore, sir. You would have to ask him yourself. Uh, and you? Sir, I abide by the law. A strange feeling. Every now and then, something feels off about the way she speaks. She doesn't mm. change tone, but you feel as though there's more about her than she lets on. Uh, what is this pilgrimage you're it's talking about? It's just something poor Fulberg kids do every spring. To pass the time, we walk the entire length of Boogie Street. Up to Jam Rock. Uh, everybody, give Always me your best dance emote, please, while we enjoy this. I don't know, man. Have you been amazing down music? Street? It's a little bewildering. Uh, let's say I haven't been down okay. Boogie Street. Then you should go and take a look, I guess. Boogie Street is cool. It's got a lot of immigrants and all kinds of different people. Yeah. Who do you want to know about? Oh, she's a bit odd. I have to say, doesn't talk much. I'm not really sure how to vibe with her, you know? Seems like she's not in a very good mood most of the time. That's correct, I but do get that But earlier today, vibe. she told me about Welkins. And she seemed oddly happy, like she had some idea with those little creatures. Some artistic idea. 
I didn't really listen. Oh I was yeah, busy with party my time. Mouth. I don't think I have any animated emotes oh, at all. Oh, the crab man. Actually. Still gives me the creeps the way he moves. But he doesn't actually come down that much, just climbs Oh my god, the, the little cat! Also, Paladin, welcome! Hello, hello! Aw, the dancing, the cheer one is cute too. I just tried to stay away from the crab man. But he talks to Noid. They seem to have some thing going on. Talks to Noid, what for? Beats me. Noid said they get along somehow. They're both crazy enough, I guess. What's he doing there? Who knows? He doesn't really answer our questions, see? That's all Not I got. That it's easy to That's ask more them. than me, Julie. What are we supposed to do? Yell up at the tower? Who do you want to know about? Andre. Andre. He's a cool guy. Doesn't really come off as one, but he is. To me, at least. He takes care of shit. Sorry. I mean, he's got a vision. Of what life should be, you know? He tries to push things until everything falls into place. He's an organizer. What's he organized? Nothing. But then again, there's nothing to organize around here either. He really wants this church thing to work. Oh, it's a hamster. <laughs> a hamster with a gun? I, before reading your comment, I was trying to figure out if it was a cat. Must have taken it as a sign when he found it abandoned like that. This is all just us in front of our device. It's true. I accurate. don't know where he got that from. Andre's not super intelligent. I've never seen him so psyched about anything, though. And he's often psyched. Looks sort of desperate, like it's his last chance or something. Or maybe he was just high. I mean, not that he does drugs, just high, you know. Uh, On life? Yes. Anyway. Under yes. your boyfriend? Tell me about Who the do you want to know about? Actually, do tell me about yourself. Me? Again? Do tell me. Yes, I forgot. I told you, I'm a silver bird. This is that phrase again. Really reminds you of something. What does that it mean? It means I don't answer questions about myself. Uh, there's more to you than you're letting on. What am I not All seeing? All right. There is. Thank you. Fine. Sure. Catch the silver bird reaction speed, huh? Hmm. Well, that didn't give us points. That only got us more questions. So that didn't help. Um... Man, we're legit running out of things to do. I guess I... Pass time? How the fuck am I gonna pass time until... Oh, hey, man. Goodbye, officer. Until... 2200. Where am I going? Where, where are you going, Harry? Yo, man. What's on your mind? These clothes. Hardcore. That's They're it. Just clothes. Thought there'd be uh, more to it. It's just a vest of suspenders made to resemble a human rib cage, plus some lady clothes to piss off your sex system. Now tell me about that hardcore necktie. It's fucking primal. What's what's hardcore it looks about like it? Like you're trying to hang yourself with it. So large too. So many different patterns. It's crazy, man. My necktie is I pretty like crazy. It. You suddenly realize the patience and respect. This speed freak has shown me is partly because of your style. He's probably not like that with everyone. Respect as a man! Uh, why are you so suspicious, suspicious about everything? Suspicious people are esoteric people. We don't go around spinning everything to Johnny Law. They don't call me Noid for nothing. It took us setting out for this whole enterprise to get our science synced. Why are you called Noid anyway? For paranoid. Oh, that, yeah, okay, that fits. What are you suspicious uh, of? It'd be easier to list stuff I'm not suspicious What's of. What's on your in real I'm life to do list for the game? Sand and um, mechanics and chemistry also have a trueness about them. Most anything else deceives. Wants to steal your life away. My notes are sometimes just the best thing on the planet. I have Everett Dirty Dealing. Uh, I have Joyce Drugs, which is crossed off. We did that. Uh, I have Clausia Documents. I think, oh, that was to like check the buoy. We did that. Uh, I have spiked soup. Spiked soup. We did that. Uh, I have forged signatures. We did that. Then I have gun. And then I have $50 found shoes. So uh, then I have dance question mark. And then I have hardcore to the mega written down. 
<laughs> then I have hardcore to the mega written down. Good. Good soup. Good soup. Good soup. This is a good, dangerous line of questioning. You should prod him on. What are the things you're most suspicious of? I don't have of? a top ten list of things I'm most suspicious of, but if I had one, the left-right complex would be number one. Number two would be their sole accomplishment, the pig wheat paradigm. Uh, left-right? I prefer not to. Both ask the wrong question. Any spark of light from either one is accidental. Their combined movement's only concern is producing enough pig and wheat for everyone. The end goal of humanity. The original mistake was assuming that words have more being than bodies. That's what led us astray, far from our true lives, but we may yet find a way back. Whatever this true life is, you feel it's the real centerpiece of this mythology. What kind of character should I draw? Um... Give me a... No, that won't work. Give me Dick Mullen, but gender bent. Yeah, yeah, that'll work. Give me Dick a Dick Mullen, but gender bent. I'm talking like 50s noir detective, but make it a girl. Good luck. <laughs> oh boy, okay. You can do it, I believe in you. Make sure she has a really ugly tie too, like like my horrific tie. Oh, you could do a gender bent Harry. No, nobody wants to see that. Oh lord. Uh, okay. His eyes flicker. What did the guy, the crab man, tell you about the church? The crab man's been lurking here for a while. He's experienced things, things that give off bad signs. I mean, hot. As as we can tell. The Ubi's built this place about 320 years ago as a sarcophagus. Hot, sure, Air. Like, make her hot, but also troubled. Like, alcoholic, been divorced, down on her luck. There's a damsel in distress waiting in her office. Oh, no. There's a man in distress waiting in her office? Mm, yes. The Harry's waiting in her office. Um... What are you, there are dead bodies Not here? like a literal sarcophagus. Mm. I'm just being metaphoric encasement, okay, sure. confinement of something they were afraid of. Something new and unheard of on the Isola. I think that's what the crab man is experiencing when he climbs around upstairs. Here he is a damsel in distress. He is. He absolutely like, is. This is some old world shit you bees had heard about. I thought the best way to deal with it was to build a church surrounding it to contain it. Uh, to contain what exactly? I don't know. And it's not something they properly understood either. What it does. But it's what this sonar person is looking for and trying to measure. It will be fruitless though. Oh, he's talking about the, like, the she nothing. She won't be able to measure it. People like that always want to measure everything. All those things they really can't. The wood creaks as a girl blows by outside dust particles fall through the darkness settling down on the age bleached floorboards the structure does not feel particularly durable honestly being an amazing female genius detective is hot already true <laughs> oh harriet yes mm -hmm, yes um this building sounds less structurally sound. No, less than structurally sound. It's pretty fucking unsound, if you ask me. Mm. They should have built a club for a Nodic music around it instead. The <laughs> Nodic music will oh, definitely contain whatever we're dealing with. And if it can't, well. <laughs> Harrietta? Seems to be the trend around Perfect. here, doesn't it? You can't measure shit like this. It's not like substance. Uh, if it's without substance, I guess there's nothing Maybe to worry about. you can figure things out, cop man. I think we got on a good level here. The signs are syncing up well. I don't know what this the dude's on about. I have no idea. Here, and it's beats and rock. Just the young man is dead serious about this. Hardcore. Most egghead usually. Hardcore. There we go. 
We got we got Egghead in. At the two Everything makes sense oh, yeah. now. Sure thing. Internalize the hardcore aesthetic. Don't just nod along. Really feel it. Wow. If only my conceptualization wasn't in the fucking trash. Aggressive. Yeah. Monotonous. But that's, that's what I thought. Well. Hardcore. I tried. I tried to be hardcore and failed. I can't dance. I can't be hardcore. There's nothing left on my to-do list. I honestly God don't know what we're gonna do. Kim will not let us sit on a bench for eight hours. Kim have anything to talk about? Yes. Mm -hmm. Sorry, cop. Sylvie suicide jokes. We mentioned suicide. <gasps> Dress code Modius Mullen helping us out. Oh my god. It, oh my god. If we could convince him that there's a sexy dark mystery twist to this case. Oh my god. All right. We will do this tomorrow. This will be the first thing we do tomorrow. Yeah. Gun isn't until later. Gun is the thing we're waiting until 2200 to do. Um. Tomorrow we'll talk to Kim and we'll see if we can convince him. And then we've got the pigs have our gun. Uh, and then we need to, I guess, just talk to Ruby. Um, I don't really want to go into that conflict without my gun, hence the waiting. Um, so that's where we're at. Hello, hello, dual names. Uh, terrible timing. I'm just about to wrap up. <laughs> Can Miro do it? Is the stream where Disco Elysium is best? It is not, because I failed to dance. We did play a board game, though. Oh, Bardcore is an actual song. Okay, I'll listen to it, Epic. Oh my god, no, wait, Bog shared this with me. This is a fantastic fucking medieval Slim Shady. It's amazing. Uh, okay. So we'll pick this up back up tomorrow, uh, hopefully. And yeah, that's that's it. That's all I got. That's all I got. Let's do our thank yous and our goodbyes. Let's get some different music. This uh, music in this area, for whatever reason, is way loud. It's so loud. Let's do something more chill. Alrighty. Uh, thank you guys so much for being here with me for Disco Elysium. I hope you all have a wonderful night. I hope to see you tomorrow, uh, 7 p.m. MST? Uh, for more Disco Elysium. Air, thank you for the biddies. Thank you, thank you for all those bits. And thank you for the resub. Happy 36 months. Julie, thank you for the resub. Happy 53 months. And thank you to everyone who did sound biddies. Uh, thanks so much for being here with me, guys. I hope to see you tomorrow for some more Disco time. Until then, have a good night. Bye.